All right, everybody, we're back here at Reset with Andrea here. We're gonna go through pre-adjustment rehab exercises here. We're gonna start on the wobble disc with lateral movement of the spine, the, the pelvic area, the lumbar area, side to side. I'm gonna show you from the side angle here as well too, just to show you control of the hips. It's coming from the hips and not the torso here. Now we're gonna move front to back. So we can rotate through these types of movements. Again, pelvic movement, not the rest of the torso. Now we're gonna do a little bit of rotation through here. Good, side to side, back and forth through here. You're gonna spend, again, anywhere from three to five minutes on the wobble chair itself. Now we're gonna move directly into the cervical spine six-way stretch to get that neck move. We're gonna start right lateral stretch. For sake of the video, we're gonna only spend a couple seconds, but typically hold 15 seconds per direction. We're gonna go left lateral flexion. Now left posterior corner. Good. You see the angle there. Now right posterior corner. Again, same side hand pulling back. Right anterior front corner. Lightly, gently pulling down. And left front corner here. Perfect. Now we're going to move over to the cervical spine or neck traction unit on the wall. When you size it up, you want the fat part right about chin level or just a little bit below. The one part goes behind, the other part goes under the chin. This is designed to hydrate the discs just like the wobble chairs for the lower part of your spine and also to force a curve back in your cervical spine. So nice and gentle through the hands, soft shoulders, about 20 to 25 percent of your body weight lightly dropping down. You can see again body is close to the wall holding for three to five seconds, off for two, Dropping back down, start with 20 reps of these your first week. You're gonna incrementally increase five reps per week until you reach 40 to 50 reps per time, per session. Again, nice and soft, nice and fluid movement through there. Now we're gonna move to the thoracic spine over on the foam rollers over here, where we're simply gonna mobilize the thoracic spine gently with the foam roller. So she just basically lays back over the top. I'm gonna start in the lower lumbar spine you're going to roll it all the way back up to the top of the thoracic spine, almost to the base of the cervical spine there. Beginners, start with your hands in your chest just like this. As you get more advanced, you can extend your hands above your head to create a little bit more extension through the thoracic spine. When you find hot spots, trigger points in there, you can start to hang out. Let it rest there a little bit to the, to the pain of the tightness dissipates. Sh narrow the movement, shallow the movement down just like she's doing right now until that movement goes away, or that pain goes away. Now we're gonna move up to stretch, stretch the chest or pec area. Here again, so many people sit so much of the time that this is a very important piece to open up that chest to gain more extension. I'm using TRX bands here. Starts in a Y-shaped position, slowly lets those arms drop, falls behind, comes back up under constant stress, working different angles of the chest through this movement here. And again, you can do about 20 reps of this while you're doing it. Again, opening up the chest, you see a little bit of flexion of the spine there or a little bit of forward lean just to open up the torso a little bit more. So now we're gonna move into a mock adjustment setting where she's gonna go from there. And in the clinic case, when the table opens up, you're instructed to go over. Easiest thing to do is just go face down and let your body relax at this point. It's really important that from a chiropractic standpoint, just let the tension go. And that's what we're really designed to do here is open up the body, take a little tension out, get your body moving a little bit more at that point in time. So now, after that adjustment, she gets back up. We're gonna go back into the molding aspect of rehab now. Now we're gonna go over to the floor units over here. And she's gonna start by placing the foam half moon basically in the small of her spine. The head then falls back over the top of the elastic strap, forcing a curve back into the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. Legs can be straight, they can be bent, depending on comfort level and what fits you best at that point in time. Very simple to use. You can spend anywhere from three to upwards of 10 minutes on this, again, based on comfort level and where you're at in, in your care. The other option with this, we're gonna move over to the floor cervical wedges, just to show basic extension of the spine here. A lot of times these can actually be used at home and can be prescribed to start using at home on a more consistent basis. Same idea, 
extension of the cervical spine, extension of the lumbar spine, or what we call the lordosis of those two specific areas of your spine. The key is, as we sit in a very flexed position for long periods of time, this is a great way to decompress the spine at the end of a long day sitting behind a desk, steering wheel, or even for being on your feet for that matter. So again, warm up, pre-adjustment rehab, the adjustment session, post-adjustment rehab, that's all there is to it. Warm up the spine, creating spinal movement, stimulating the nervous system, and then molding the spine back into po proper postural structure from that point moving forward. Thanks, guys.